Hi, my name is Yunosh and today we are going to talk about software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So these are the stacks and there's one more on premises. So in on premises, you manage all the things like uh, it's your networking, your storage, your servers, your virtualization, your operating system, middleware, runtime, data, applications, everything belongs to you. And the next one is infrastructure as a service. So here you manage only application, data, runtime, middleware and operating system. Rest of the stack is managed by someone else. So let's first see what is infrastructure as a service. So it is Amazon Web Services, Rackspace, Google Computer Engine and Microsoft Azure, DigitalOcean, Linode. So these are the things in it. So what are the characteristics of IaaS? Resources are available as a service. The cost varies depending on consumption. Services are highly scalable. Typically includes multiple users on a single piece of hardware. Provides complete control of the infrastructure to organizations. Dynamic and flexible. So when to use IaaS? If you are a startup or a small company, IaaS is a great option as you don't have to spend the time or money trying to create hardware and software. It is also beneficial for large organizations who wish to have complete control over their applications and infrastructure. For rapidly growing companies, it can be a good option as you don't have to commit to a specific hardware or software as your need change and evolve. It also helps you if you are unsure what demands a new application will need as there is a lot of flexibility to scale up or down as needed. Next one is platform as a service. So here you manage only application and data. Rest all the stack is managed by others. So it involves a Google App Engine, OpenShift, Windows Azure, Heroku, and uh, many more. So let's see characteristics of PaaS. It is built on virtualization technology, meaning resources can easily be scaled up or down as your business changes. It provides a variety of services to assist with the development, testing, and deployment of apps. Numerous users can access the same development application. Web services and databases are integrated. So when to use PaaS? If there are multiple developers working on the same development project or if other vendors must be included as well, PaaS can provide great speed and flexibility to entire process. PaaS is also beneficial if you wish to be able to create your own customized applications. This cloud service also can greatly reduce cost and it can simplify some challenges that come up if you are rapidly developing or deploying an app. Next is software as a service. Here everything is managed by others. So it involves like Dropbox, like Google Apps or a GoMeeting, Salesforce, uh, Cisco WebEx. So what are their characteristics? Managed from a central location, hosted on a remote server, accessible over the internet, users are not responsible for hardware or software updates. That's great. So when to use SaaS? If you are a startup or a small company that needs to launch e-commerce quickly and don't have time for server issue or software, for short term projects that require collaboration, if you use applications that aren't in demand very often such as tax software, for applications that need both web and mobile access. Now let's see a comparison of all these three. So what you get? First uh, you get the infrastructure and pay accordingly, freedom to use or install any operating system, software or composition whereas in pass here you get what you demand 
software, hardware, operating system, web environment, you get the platform to use and pay accordingly. And uh, in SaaS, uh, here you don't have to worry about anything. A pre-installed, pre-configured package as per your requirement is given and you only need to pay accordingly. Present uh, importance feature, the basic layer of computing. And in PaaS, uh, it's uh, on top of uh, IAS. Whereas in SaaS, it is like a complete package of service. For uh, technical difficulties, IAS is uh, technically uh, you require knowledge for that. Whereas in PaaS, uh, you get the basic setup and uh, still the knowledge of subject is required. Whereas in uh, SaaS, uh, no need to worry about the technicalities. The SaaS provider uh, company handles everything. And uh, if you see the deal uh, with uh, IS, uh, deals with virtual machines, uh, storage, service, servers, network, load balancers, whereas in past, uh, runtime uh, like Java runtime, uh, databases, uh, web service. Whereas in SaaS, uh, applications like uh, Gmail, Yahoo, Mail, etc. and uh, social networking sites like uh, Facebook, etc. And uh, for on uh, popularity graphics, if you see, uh, IS is popular among highly risk, highly skilled developers, uh, researchers who require custom configuration as per their requirements or field of research. Whereas in PaaS most popular among developers as they can focus on the development of their apps or scripts. They don't have to worry about traffic load or server management etc. Whereas in SaaS, most popular among normal consumers or companies which rely on software such as email, file sharing, social networking as they don't have to worry about the technicalities. So thank you for watching this video, see you next.